What's up YouTube, my name is Tyler Taylor and I'm an independent music producer and audio engineer. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to program your 808s in Ableton Live. This isn't gonna go into the sound design of 808s, so you may wanna look for another tutorial on that or I can make one for you guys. Um, but today we're just gonna talk about programming 808s in Ableton. Some people prefer to do their 808 programming in audio. I personally like to do it in MIDI. Um, whenever I mix, I do bounce it out into audio tracks. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is to create a MIDI track. Um, the key command for this is Command Shift T. So Command Shift T. By default, I have a drum rack selected because I like to work in drum racks a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So right now we're going to drag in a sample. Um, I'm just going to use a pre-made sample from a kit that I'm really fond of. Uh, it's called the Big Bang Theory. It's made by Track God Sound. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, he provides a contact wrapper for this and also just raw WAV files. And in this instance, we're just gonna use uh, the WAV files. So we'll open up the kit. Um, a lot of these are really great. Uh, well, damn, let's drag this in. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is to turn off loop. Basically, this is just gonna make it so our sample doesn't keep playing if the key is held for too long. Um, we also wanna take off uh, warp. This is so our glide functions will work. I'll get into glide functions in a second. Um, but then we also want to take our voices down from six to one. This is because you want your samples to be monophonic. Uh, you don't want multiple 808 samples being triggered at the same time. So, uh, for example, if it was on uh, one and I hit another key while the other key is still pressed, it will just jump up to the new note. So if it was on six still, you would just have a mess of uh, samples being triggered at the same time. So we'll drop that back down to one. The next thing that we wanna do is set the release to taste. I like to have my release be a very low value. This way, whenever I let up off of a key, my 808 will stop playing. This gives you the most control over programming. Um, some people like to have their 808s play out completely even when they let up off of a key. So if you wanted uh, your 808 to just play out and you not have to hold down and not worry about it, uh, you can just set your release to 60. So. This is me just playing a key and uh, letting up immediately. So the sample plays out all the way. If I was to set this back down to 50, as soon as I let up off of the key, it will stop playing the sample. Now I wanna go over the glide function. So we'll switch over to the control tab. And right here you see glides. So there's two types of glides. The first mode that we'll go over is just standard glide mode. Um, I'm gonna program just a few notes just to show you what it sounds like. So. So what you're hearing is the first note plays out standard and once you jump up to the secondary note, it doesn't have an impulse. Uh, whenever glide mode is on. So what this means is if I was to take these notes and not have them overlap, which means the, the glide isn't active because to have glide active, you must have your notes overlapping like this. If I was to take this overlap off and this glide wasn't active, it would sound like that. So basically it just cuts off the impulse whenever you have glide on. Let's hear what the glide would sound like if we had a longer time on the glide itself. So let's switch it to around 150. So you hear uh, it takes a bit longer to reach that secondary note. So next what we want to do is uh, go over portamento mode, which is very similar to glide mode, except the difference is your secondary notes have an impulse. So what this means is one, you're not going to be able to jump back down from D4 to C3 after you let up this note. You would need to enter in a new note in C3. So I'm just going to show you what it sounds like. So the difference between this and the standard glide mode is that little impulse here. Um, 
I'll show you the difference on what it sounded like when we were in standard glide just one more time. So there's no impulse on standard glide, but Portamento, there is that impulse. Eastbound and Wonder Girl and a lot of Toronto producers use the Portamento style. Um, it's just one part of their 808 programming, but it's a pretty crucial part in a lot of current hip hop right now. One thing that you wanna make sure whenever you're utilizing glide mode, um, Portamento or just the standard glide, is that if you want the secondary note to have the glide properties, you need to make sure the primary note is overlapping. So if it wasn't overlapping, we wouldn't hear the glide. So that's just a standard jump up. That's with the glide. Another tip to give you guys a little bit more movement in your 808s is to use pitch bends. Um, I'm just gonna program a few extra notes just so we can get a better feel of what these pitch bends will sound like. I have no idea what this is actually gonna sound like, but we will see. Trash, I'm sorry. I apologize for making such a garbage pattern. To get into the pitch bend, you just come over into the envelope tab, just press this button. Um, if this isn't showing up for you guys, you may have E not selected, so just uh, go into E, which is envelopes. Um, so if also if this doesn't say pitch bend, just make sure it says pitch bend. So for example, we'll just do some basic pitch bend automation. So that's some pretty basic uh, pitch automation. If you wanna be very specific about the notes that you're jumping up and down to, like you're very concerned about the frequency and the pitch of what you're jumping up with the slides, just remember that there's 8,192 available values for programming this. So what this means is if 8,192 equals 12 semitones, then one semitone is 682.7 approximately. So if you wanted to have exact pitch bends, just make sure that you're doing it in increments of 682.7. Obviously it's not that crucial that you get it right on the dot, but some people really like to be um, sure of this. If you guys have any more questions about programming 808s, just make sure to leave them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with another tutorial.